I'm wearing my Vegeta shirt to harness my Vegeta power. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I got a double box shrimpum of Realm of the Gods. This is the pre-release date. I am shrimping these cards. Shout out to DePlanet. If you guys are on one of the islands of Hawaii, make sure to check out DePlanet to get your sealed product. Thank you guys for hooking me up with these boxes. I'm so excited to shrimp them. I'm trying to get the Vegeta Secret God. As you can see, I'm wearing my Vegeta shirt to harness my Vegeta power. But I'm gonna shrimp them this thing. I'm also gonna be doing a case opening, double back-to-back -back case opening with Linda Kim on my channel and her channel. Next week weekend check it out saturday live friday or saturday yo linda what day are we doing the live stream march 11th at 8 p.m est come check it out she's gonna open a case on her channel i'm gonna open a case on my channel and we are gonna shrip them but let's get into this thing if you guys haven't seen realm of the gods i think this is the best set that this game has ever seen i'm so excited to crack these cards and see how beautiful let's get into these shrip them oh yeah and if you like these shrip them you want to see more smush that subscription button thank you so much all right i got my uh okay all right, for the box topper, we got Dark King Mechicabra Unison. Kind of booty, not really, you know. And of course, first things first, we got a bless him a pack. Oh, Beerus and Whis, be bless him. Have that Vegeta secret rare, shrip him inside you. Thank you so much. And uh, let's crack these things. All right, so here's our Goku Black art, looking pretty good. And our first Cardo is, oh, double parallel foil. All right, big guy, Awamo. Shrip them. I'm just gonna go straight to the back of the pack. Let's see what looks good back here. And we I'm trying to find, you know, I really wanna play the red U7 archetype. I think it's super fun. I think it's really versatile. I think there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in it. Oh, Beerus Leader, not so bad. Yeah, I think that red U7 deck is just so fun. It's like, I've always wanted to play red, but I never really enjoyed playing red that much. Another Mechicabra, hot booty cheeks. And a Mageta, Battle to the Universe. Yeah, I, every time I always play red, I just feel like it's kind of doing the same thing and it feels really repetitive. But what I like about the red U7 Goku deck is there's a lot of lines of play. This card is insane. This is like one of the best counter plays that I think has ever been printed in this game. And the SPR looks so good. I would love, love, love to see one. But uh, yeah, really, really strong counter play because you could just KO or you get to bottom deck a six cost when it gets played. So you're still counter playing. You're getting a body on board playing this card and you get to choose one of your opponent's battle cards that energy costs six or less and just put it at the bottom of their deck. I'm pretty sure also uh, when you play yeah, when you play this card, your opponent also has to discard. So bottom decking a six or less and making them discard, very, very strong for two energy. Rip them. All right, so I've only one, or I guess two SRs so far. I think it's still the standard five SRs in a box. Ooh, that's pretty. Five SRs in a box, two SPRs, chance of an SPR box topper, two SCRs per case. Yo, this card is kind of nasty. I think one of in the U7 deck is actually really good of this. Um, it just like as an alternate finisher option, like if you're not going to go in with your secret rare or with the uh, eight drop, bait some stuff out with one of your one drops and then play this guy and try and kill them with it. It's really, really good if you have a unison on board. Shrip them, crack them, slice them, pop them. What are we gonna get? What's our first SPR gonna be? That's not an SPR. That is a parallel foil trunks boy. All right, let's see where we got, what we got, what we got. Shrip them. I'm trying to get a secret rare. Can somebody get me a secret rare over here? Would somebody, me? oh wow, poutine, French fries. Nice gravy fries. Uh, I think there's actually a poutine list that's really good. One of my teammates, Dane, is working on a kind of wild poutine list. I haven't tested it, I haven't played against it, but the, the, he's the guy that came up with the Golden Frieza deck. So, I mean, if he's, if he's on something, I kind of subscribe to it. I believe in my crew. I believe in them and I believe in you. SPR? No, nah, Realm of the Gods. Realm of the Gods, Ultra Instinct. This guy's kind of good also in the Trunks deck. You just play him out of the warp, kind of kind of cool. Yeah, I think there's a lot of really sh really strong leaders that are built um, to get stronger with more support, but they're also strong just coming out of this set. Uh, one of those being the, I think the black Trunks leader is really good. I think the yellow Trunks three drop is very strong also. I'm pretty excited. Oh, yo, talking about Trunks, SSB, Vegeta, SS Trunks, father and son, son and Peepaw looking to save the day. This card is wild. So if you play this in the Trunks deck and if you have double evolve targets, so like if you have the Vegeta and the Trunks that you play for free off the leader swing and you evolve both of those for one energy, when you 
put evolve this guy on top you're going to be able to do this activate battle two times it is limit one so if he gets removed between the turn like that sucks but it is an activate battle so if you have the second set and the copy under here and somebody swings it with a battle card and you did your activate battle on your turn on the defensive step when they swing you can just like pop something because this draws a card and then you choose two things in rest mode and ko them so if they're swinging with a battle card and they don't realize you have two other cards under here from the original evolved targets you just pop them it's very strong pop up pop up pop them papa and son pop up pop them and really really pretty card also big fan of this card all right that's our first spr and i'm pretty sure we're three srs in which means we're only gonna have two more srs in this box or one sr and a god rare i don't know what the deal with the god rares are i don't know if, if you get a god rare in a pa in a box if that like takes a secret rare slot i don't know if it takes a secret rare slot up from a box i really don't know how the ratios work with that but i think what i've seen of people opening cases so far is that um it isn't it doesn't that you don't have the double scr issue that we were having for a while there oh vegeta unison this is a pretty looking card i don't know how wild this card is it doesn't actually plus it's just uh, it's just a blue unison. Um, maybe there will be a list that it's better in in time. I really don't know. But that just means we have one more either God Rare or Gold Stamp card here. And there's still going to be one more SPR. I would love to pull that 8-drop SPR. That one looks so dang good. But the, all the SPRs in this set just look gorgeous. This is like a really, really beautiful set. Just excited to be opening it. Thank you to Planet for... Yo! Whis calling to order. This is the blue-yellow SPR. This card is gorgeous. The, all these god cards with like the, with the destroyer gods and the angels and the kais of each universe is like very nice concept i really really like it i uh, definitely want to collect the entire set of these i think that'll happen eventually i'm opening an absurd amount of this set but very very pretty card and great to pull it we're gonna have one more hit in this box either gonna be a secret rare or an sr i think because i'm pretty sure so far Hold five, and I think this is it in this box. Ooh, yo, this card's kind of nasty. I think this is kind of be a blue staple in a lot of things, especially in SS3. This card is wild. This negate is just very, very strong. It's also a negate that has deflect, bottlenecks your opponent, triple striker, and has barrier. So really strong card, and that's gonna be it for everything that's really shiny in this box, I think, done here. So no, no secret rare. I don't think any god rare. Bless him, here's the bless him. Bless him, trip him. Let's see what we get in here. Anything? Nope, nothing really. Just, uh, ooh, Rumble of Gods Ultra Instinct. I'm gonna crack this box, see what's inside of here. Thank you so much. Thank you to, uh, thank you to the planet for hooking it up. Let's, uh, let's get this thing strip them. What is inside here? These boxes just look great also. This is definitely, I mean, this is a great set to open. It's a great set to keep sealed. And our box topper is, ooh, Vegeta. A, maybe that means that there's a Vegeta, a very, very rare Vegeta card in here. That would be great, wouldn't it be? All right, but of course, we got to bless him. Let's love a bless him to shrip him. Uh, I want to bless him a, a, a Goku. Yeah, yeah, bless him, Goku. Thank you so much. So we got our Beerus and Whis here. I see something shiny back here. Shiny, no, not that shiny. All right, it's kind of shiny. Shiny, Heiny. What are we going to get? What are you going to shrip him? Yeah, so make sure to come check out the uh, live stream. And if you guys are, oh, Beerus, Realm of the Gods, Beerus Destroys. This card is really good looking. All these Realm of the Gods cards, the Activate Battles, I think they're really, really great looking. And I think they have like pretty good utility. You know, they kind of uh, they kind of do what the cards from set nine did, the IARs, but in a new, a different, more updated way because they apply to unisons also. The issue with those cards where they're only affected battle and leader cards. A lot of times, you know, people would activate battle them into a, um, into a unison. I I think this card's like four bucks right now. This is a really, really strong card. People would activate battle them into unisons and then it's like, oh yeah, the unison doesn't actually get the buff and then they don't kind of realize that until it's too late. Parallel coil, demon god, Dabra. What else do you have? Oh, one of the SPRs is so quick, just right out of the... Oh, this card's now... And yo! Parallel Foil, Sign of Mastery. This card's insanely good. Definitely a staple in the U7 deck. I'm for sure playing that card. This card's really wild also. I think this card's really, really strong. I was really hyped on the blue-yellow uh, God stuff in the new... In, in Soul Striker, but I'm actually having a lot more fun playing U7, so I'm kind of happier to pull that card. Goku Black, Realm of the Gods. 
such a such an absolutely cool set i'm so stoked to be opening this so stoked to be playing this if you guys are you know considering coming to celebrations you should i'll be at both i will definitely be at texas and i will be at miami for the second day commentating so come hang out say hi i'd love to take a picture with you i love styling and pictures it's one of my favorite things to do I am quite the po yo yo this card looks so good SSB Vegeta Lost Kingdoms Pride I think these Vegeta cards where he's just like get punching and getting punched are are so good I'm so glad that they decided to make these cards what an absolutely gorgeous SPR every SPR from this set is like really really good and I'm pretty sure that you just like combo this guy and play him and you can play him with any green leader uh, It's not like limited to the archetype you get to discard a card when this guy KOs something It's pretty cool You just play him for two from your drop area 20k dual attack and if you KO something you make your opponent discard also There's a lot of value in one card. So that's it for the SPRs I don't think I'm getting any more SPRs out of this but so far I think only been one SR and I think it's still the same thing It's like five per so you get five SRs and one of those slots can be a secret rare i'm assuming i'm assuming that's how the ratios work yo this card's nasty neg 15 ignoring barrier for two energy on two cards pretty pretty strong he also draws a card on play and a 20k crit with the flex like i think this guy's really good i don't know how if he's a four of but i think probably at least a two of and maybe one or two on the side really really strong certain matchups he's a lot better than others some matchups he just doesn't get in there it's just the thing about the u7 deck is you can do so much with so little energy hit assassin strike pretty cool i think this has an spr i like the spr of that card and a parallel foil weiss his face is looking kind of weird all right all right all right all right Shrepaim. what do we got in here let's see it is a parallel foil mira and so the, is that the first sr from this box i think so so we still should have a stack of oh yo fuse of masa exterminating force this card's kind of wild this deck is kind of wild i think it's a pretty high skill count to play it i tried playing it and it like kind of took me a while to figure it out i'd need to put more time into it i think it could be very strong but i don't really know how completely useful it is just that invoker card they printed the three drop promo is scary and i think uh I think the Goku Black deck is one of the few decks that can deal with it because yellow has really, really strong extra cards. Yo, father and son. Then I just pull the SPR, SPR in this, yeah, yeah, this box, I got the SPR of this. So SR and an SPR. Maybe it's telling me I should uh, play with that deck more. But I feel like the issue with that deck is once you once your evolve targets go, like once your evolve targets are either in the drop, yo, Parallel Foil skill is Vegeta, very nice. Once your evolve targets are either in the drop or like once they're once they're warped or whatever, like Gogeta Xeno, I feel like would be a real problem for that deck because it just gets rid of the three drop trunks. The three drop trunks is so strong. Resting a unison is crazy on play, but um, I feel like there's decks that hit it. And uh, once your evolve targets are gone, like you're basically, your draw engine is basically dead. And those cards take up a lot of space. Yo, Android 17, the universe of survival. This card is an absolute four of in the Goku deck. I mean, one energy, double strike and draws you any universe seven. You can see your secret rare off this. You can grab a super combo. It's just like so much value for one energy. Really, really strong card. Absolutely should be playing four and deals with unisons really well, I think also. Is that it? Do we get one more? Maybe there's one more i don't know i lost count i think we're at least at four here's one of the evolve targets for the trunk stack yeah once they're gone once they're like in the drop or the warp you don't really have a way of getting them back so it's kind of like you know ggs once those are out of there oh man what are we gonna show are we gonna see a secret rare is it possible in these two boxes or maybe not maybe it won't happen i think this is our last sr here it is another vegeta booty cheeks erase the universe pretty nice pretty pretty nice strip them yo parallel foil Go goku black leader that is a very very good looking leader and our bless him last bless him strip him i don't think this will be anything too great hopefully you know it could be a god or, or just a ah oh, that's a good card and parallel foil blue yellow all right so that's been the boxes guys i hope you enjoyed watching these strip ems we're gonna be opening a lot more of this set so if you want to see secret rares get open definitely tune in for the live stream there will at least be four maybe six secret rares open on the 11th between our channels um i am a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip 
So my dental tooth tip to you would be, your teeth move over time. A lot of people look at their lower teeth and they start overlapping. It's called crowding. Because what happens is every time you chew, your teeth rub against each other and they open space up and then they fill in that space over time and they start moving around each other. A way to stop that movement of your teeth is to wear a retainer every night and get on the realm of the God level of taking care of the position of your teeth. Uh, set yourself up to have a long, happy, healthy life of dental function and make sure to brush and floss. Floss once a day, brush twice a day, two minutes, get yourself a power toothbrush and take fantastic care of your teeth and keep them where they're at. Or if you wanna move them, get them moved and then keep them where they're at. I'm Joku DMD, thanks for coming by. This has been the Realm of the Gods, Hawaii Shrippum. Shout out to the planet for hooking it up with these boxes. Make sure to tune in next week for this live stream. It's gonna be epic. There's gonna be cases on cases on cases and they're all just gonna get shrippum. They're gonna get crack them and pop them and slice them and trip them and we'll definitely see some hot cash cards. Uh, see you guys in Texas or maybe Miami. Peace out, please out. Is it please out? Please help. Uh-huh. I'm looking for some, uh, can you do it, uh, landscapes? I'm looking for some Dragon Ball Super card game shrip -ums. I think there might be some up in this tree. And the only way to get to the realm of the gods is to climb there.